Tom in Durham, North Carolina. Durham. Like Boulder? Hmm. Must be uh, a lot of tobacco. Oh, North Carolina, sure. There's probably a lot of tobacco out there. Okay. Dear Paul, what is the safest and proper sequence in shutting down various stereo components? I want to avoid the loud thumping of my speakers when turning off everything. Well, you know, I, I saw this and I thought, well, that's about a 10 second uh, video that I'll make of that. But we can expand it a little bit. I won't take a whole lot of your time. It's a very simple question. So let me explain some of what's going on and I'll tell you the proper sequence. There's a proper sequence that as somebody who has a separate system wants to pay attention to on turn on and turn off. So you want to do it sort of in a, uh, a sequence. On a receiver or an integrated amplifier, you don't have to really worry about it. You click the sucker on, everything's figured out by the engineers who designed it. If you have separates, where you have a separate power amplifier, pre-amplifier, CD transport and all of that, some manufacturers, like us at PS Audio, we have what we call trigger jacks. And on the back are these little three and a half millimeter jacks, say in the back of the preamp, that we connect up and run a cable all the way over to the back of the power amplifier. So then when you turn the preamplifier on, it automatically sequences in the right time the power amplifiers and when you're shutting down the same sort of thing. And we do all of that to make sure that the sequence is correct. So there's plenty of ways to deal with that. But if you have a separate system and it's all just turn each piece on or off, then the proper way to do it is kind of the reverse turning on as it is from turning off. So to turn on, you want to turn your sources and your preamplifier on first wait till they kind of turn on, then turn your power amplifier on. You do the opposite when you want to turn it off. Power amps first, make sure they shut down, then your preamp and sources. The reason you want to do that is because many preamplifiers have a thump or a voltage rush, a rush of voltage when they turn it on, boom, that comes out. Now like our products, they're, they're fairly sophisticated, right? So we have a mute relay at the output of the preamp. So even if you did it wrong, it wouldn't matter. But many preamps don't. And when you turn that preamp on, as the circuit comes on, there's a rush of DC that goes through out to the outputs. And if your power amplifier is on, it'll go kawoomp and make this big thump. Could possibly damage your speakers. Unlikely, but certainly possible. So sources preamps on first. Power amps last. Turning off, power amps first, sources and preamps last. Okay? Good luck. Thanks.